Pelham had dental mercury in it. Let's take a break again and watch this one more time of this mercury, what they did in University of Calgary. This will just take a few more minutes. I just want to help you realize and make an impact on you about how the mercury can actually destroy the tissue. We're getting the mercury out with this, with this work, with these remedies, getting the mercury out, the kind of mercury we're getting it out of that tissue. And I have 11 different samples of mercury. So let's watch that video again. It is important to note that growth cones in all animal species ranging from snails to humans, have identical structural and behavioral characteristics. In this experiment, neurons also isolated from snail brain tissue were grown in culture for several days, after which very low concentrations of mercury were added to the culture medium for 20 minutes. Over the next 30 minutes, the neurite membrane underwent rapid degeneration, leaving behind the denuded neurofibrils seen Okay, now we're back. I'm going to tell you, so you can see the destruction that happens to the nerve tissue in the brain, in the spinal cord, anywhere in the body can happen from mercury exposure. Uh, his cerebellum also had Lyme infection in it. His reticular formation, remember before about lighting the wick or the match to be able to light that thalamus to send signals up to the brain, the cortex of the brain. His reticular formation, Lyme infection. His globus pallidus, which is the leash or the reins, the leash on the dog or the reins on the horse, globus pallidus, Lyme infection. His brain had, overall brain had uh, more strep infection that we're getting rid of, as well as Lyme infection. I'm sorry if I said Lyme infection, uh, to get that out of his brain. The substantia nigra, which is where those dopamine producing cells, Lyme infection in his substantia nigra. The remedies are prepared for him to send him for him to follow this protocol at home.